Hey guys, my name is John Dragon Tamer. I'm going to show you how to build a 5 semi automatic rubber band gun. This I built already. It's not my own, okay, guys? So please don't say you already saw that. Don't say I didn't invent it because honestly, I didn't. And I love the guys who invented it. The name is OG Craft. You can look them and it's show and it's uh, written a tutorial how to make this gun. Now, basically, it's very simple. All you need is 10 chopsticks, like this one, wait a minute, Fuck. these are chopsticks, you know what I mean, Japanese, ch Chinese, basic Asians, and let me just do something here, as I, as I don't have any more chopsticks, I'm just going to show you the one I built already. So if you are any of one of my friends who like wanted to know how to build it or any stuff like that, it's simple. I'm just going to just give me a minute here. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Come on, bear with me. Ah, sorry, guys. That I'm really like I'm not really like as prepared as I should be. Oops. Fly away. Sorry guys, we're prepared. Oh, and by the way, the equipment you're going to need to use, oh damn it, that hurts, is a ruler and scissors and ask your parents to use it. If you're old enough, who gives it them? So scissors, ruler, well, to be honest, I really didn't use scissors to cut wood. I actually used this, let me just make the last one. Oh damn it. Bear with, my, bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Darn it. Shit, this thing is strong. Of course, I did it. Okay. So, I used this. Now, this you're going to use for lockers. You know, like to open lockers, stuff like that. But I'm going to show you my which I built already. So, first, you have to get one chopstick. Without bending it or breaking it, for example, like breaking it like this, and you have to leave it two centimeters and five two centimeters. You have to cut a piece of this. So as you can see, this this has to be two point five centimeters. Okay, two point five, and then just separate it. And then what you do next is get one chopstick you're going to break it and then you're going to cut it 6.5 centimeters as you can see this here it's 6.5 centimeters and see the sign of my finger yeah basically that Oops. I think it's a little bit bigger okay guys and you'll get two chopsticks which aren't broken and you shouldn't you know open them like this you see still in one piece and you're going to need wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're going to need nine rubber bands. But I should recommend you to use twelve. Why? Because maybe one of them will break while you're in the uh, you know process. Here are my this is my container where I leave all my stuff and as you can see. There are lots of rubber bands. So I'm going to get three out. Actually, four that one fell down. So four out. And then let's get started. First, if you just buy rubber bands, I suggest them you to like this. Because trust me, it will be painful to do it later. With all of them. Okay, let me sit down. So you want to get two chopsticks two chopsticks put it in the middle of the one that you cut to the 2.5 centimeters get the rubber band and then just basically do this don't worry if you can see it I'll show you in a couple of seconds fuck fuck shit I'm not prepared for this. Damn it. 
Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Oh, son of a bitch. You might want to get a pen for like, if a rubber band doesn't go like as the way it should do, a pen is a great way to get it without, you know, hurting your hands. Shit. Unbelievable. Fucking little rubber. Okay, let me just do this again. Sorry. Bear with me, guys. Sorry, sorry. Really sorry. So again, I'm going to get this rubber band here. I'm going to son of a bitch. I'm going to bend it and be sure that they are like, you know, um, like this. I don't know how to say like symmetric, like symmetric. So a little bit off, yeah, like this. Stupid rubber bands. Now the last one may be a difficult gift code to do, but you get the hang of it. And then at the end, you do one more. You don't have to, but it will be a good support. Trust me, guys. You need this. Ouch. That actually hurts. Okay. There it is. Two rubbers. One, two. Two builds. The support. So this... Is the main part of the gun where everything will be needed. Now, between here, here, as you can see, right here, and right at the top here, it's going to be 10 centimeters. Be sure to measure it because you actually need it to be 10 centimeters. Where has my rubber? You just so this is my ruler here. School basics. Just measure it here. Oops, a little bit out. It's not, it doesn't really need to be 10 centimeters perfect, but it would be good. Trust me. <sighs> okay, next step. Oh crap. And be sure that both uh, rubber bands are at the, like, this part, not like here. Yeah, be sure that they're like here, you know what I mean? Okay. So now the next part, it's going to be building the holsters. What I mean is where you're going to be holding it like this. Now for this part you need to get one put it right over the edge top. Right over the top. Make sure it's quite big here. And then just do this. As you can see, it's easy to move, it's okay. Don't worry, actually it shouldn't be like a very rough base, just a holster, and two twice. You don't have to measure this, but just leave it a good uh, space here. Also, like this is the second one. Leave it a good space here, and then just continue the work. Oh crap! Ah, damn it, that hurts. As you can see, and then you do this. And then here you do this. It's very simple. You see, you end up doing this. Sorry if there's too much light, guys. Put the brightness down. Yeah, that. And then you can hold it. You see? Hold it. Now the trigger. That's tricky. But first, let's put where the rubber bands will have to stick, like this. Yeah, here. You can put it here, but with a trigger, so yeah. And just don't be care be careful. It doesn't like this. It should be kind of like you know, top here, and the bottom one down like this. You know what I mean? Yeah. So then, you get this. You put it here. Get a rubber band. Suck my. I'm just kidding. And then, you do the magic, which is basically getting the rubber band. Oh wow 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 son of a bitch that actually hurts I would recommend you using like ski gloves or anything like that because this actually hurts and then after you put it right at the end you put it right at the end yeah right at the end just almost where you can't put it in ouch you see so then here's the holster and this is where it should be 
almost right here like no space at all here now the trigger that's tricky hmm. let me support there so it should be go like here as you can see if you can see I'm sorry so as you can see look but just for this fall, fall down get another rubber band right over the top here and then do the magic Now you all know that the trigger it has to be always here. So when you shoot, the rubber band will just slide off. So then for this to happen, that I'll show you later. But then remember the 12 centimeter the 2.5 centimeters? Well instead you do it like this, you do it like this. Now, this is the most tricky one for me. To be honest, I hate to do this part. It's like the part I most hate. Honestly. God damn it, it's hard. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, mine could be a little bit better, but who gives? Uh, almost a dent. And one rubber man, put right here, and then the part, you see? Put the brightness down just for you guys to see. Can you see? So then it actually goes down here. So then you put this one right at the trigger. Line us up. And then you give it a couple turns at the trigger. Both sides. So then this will make the effect so that the trigger has to go back. As you can see, look. Ta da! And it's done. Now I'm going to show you how to put it in the rubber band. Now you have to get five. Five is the max, guys. Or you literally ruin yours. And be sure to bend it, or you will break it. You will break your little gun. And then put it over the trigger. You get this right at the bottom. I'll show you later in a more more better way. Damn it, this actually hurts. I really suggest you guys using gloves. Okay, I'm only going to do three or my thing will literally break. No, stay Okay, now as you can see, the chair here, put this down. Now look, come on, bear with me, stupid gun. Okay, you see, red effect. And that's how it's done. Thank you guys, please subscribe. John Tamer Dragon, John Dragon Tamer. Out. Stupid.